on everybody, DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some news, baby. Today we've got 85 mods on the testing list. We've got a new precision farming blog about slurry. And we've got seven modders to talk about, including a statement from Realismus Modding, Creator of Seasons. Let's check it out. All right, starting off today with the mod testing list, which is a collaboration of everything that Giants are working on right now. PC testing is stage one, and console testing is stage two. It's also known as the final stage before release. So in the first stage today, we got some pretty cool stuff, including the accessory curtain, we've got the bell counting system, and the concrete open work. Also still on the testing list is European countryside map, Fiat 1000, and we got the Ford 10 Series 3. We got new additions like Headland Management, the Herleman H488, aka Toothpaste Tractor, John Deere 825, and the Malwa 560 from North Monte Company. The Massey 1200 is also back on the testing list. As far as console testing, it's back up to a large number again, meaning either today or tomorrow, it's going to be a big mod day for consoles. We've got an update to the Lexian, new free charger, JCB TM 320S, and even a 7R and the Massey 5600. With all that being said, we still have 512 mods that he waited to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is still at 16 workdays, aka more than three weeks. Today, Giant Software released a new blog on precision farming, talking about the introduction of manure nitrogen sensors. If your farming operation relies on slurry, the precision farming DLC is gonna make spreading process more efficient thanks to manure nitrogen sensors. As slurry is never really the same time after time, especially in real life, measuring its nutrient contents as it is applied to the soil is a great new technology to help farmers be more sustainable. With precision farming, the concentration of nitrogen in slurry always varies, and this means that the applied amount of nitrogen can differ from the expected application rate, up to 40% in difference. To compensate for this constant fluctuation, each slurry tanker in the game will now have the option to install the manure sensing system from John Deere. This near-infrared sensor measures the current nitrogen content of the manure that you're spreading. With that information, the application rates will be dynamically adjusted as the machine travels across your field. That way, you can apply the precise amount of nutrients to your crops and everything that they require. There you go. Just like the sprayers, you can add this system in the configuration screen at the dealership when buying or customizing your slurry tanks. By the way, the DLC is also going to be adding one of these as well. We have the Grant PTR 30,000, which we've talked about in a previous post. At this point, we've gotten tons of information on precision farming, with a few more still to come. This free DLC is releasing on Tuesday, April the 19th, for all platforms on the Mod Hub. This is for Farming Simulator 22 only. If you'd like to see more information on the DLC, check out the description for the link beside Precision Farming. A few quick reminders today before we get into the top stories. This is the last day to enter the Vineyard Contest. It could even be over by the time you're watching this video. The deadline for entry is today, Thursday, April the 7th at 5.59 p.m. Eastern Time, 2.59 Pacific. It is also the last day to get Farming Simulator 22 on sale on the Farm Sim website. The digital version of the game and the Year 1 bundle are both 20% off, with the Year 1 Season Pass being 25% off separately, bringing all prices to about the same amount. Now would be a great time to score that Year 1 Season Pass if you haven't already, because Giants have said, Big stuff is on its way. The Farming Simulator League client has also gotten an update to version 3.0.1. Belt of the opposing team will stop if they have a factor greater than 2.4, fix the partially removed weed patches, and fix the server errors if the game is ended or exited early while drop spawns are pending. They've also made some changes to the game balancing by adding a new perk, changes the unstoppable from 40% to 50%, and changes the pickup points of the team power-ups with easy stacker going from 3 to 2, Runner going from 3 to 1, and Unstoppable going from 0 to 1. If you're on PC and you'd like to download the client now, check out the link below. Giants are also hosting the English scrimmages on Fridays from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. Eastern Time with community team member Kermit, who is awesome, by the way. If you guys haven't already, check out the Farming Simulator League Discord and check out Farming Simulator League over on which. Making our way into today's top stories with modders, we're going to start with someone that I didn't know if we'd be hearing from again, Realismus Modding. They were the creators of the Seasons mod back at Farming Simulator 17, winning the mod contest that year and getting it out on all platforms, and they also released the mod Farming Simulator 19. But with Seasons now being base game, I wasn't sure what, if anything, we would be seeing from Realismus Modding in this new game. Well, they have broken their silence for the first time in almost a year, saying that they've gotten a lot of questions if they would be returning or releasing another version of Seasons for Farm Sim 22. Currently, they are not sure, as everyone at Realismus Modding is busy IRL, and they are currently not working on a new version of the mod at this moment. So 
If you've been curious about the future of realism as modding and farming simulators for seasons is concerned, the answer is, right now, there's nothing. I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes. Speaking of game-changing mods, another one that you guys have been asking about is Maze Plus and its return to the franchise. Well, that answer is an astounding, absolutely, heck yeah, man. And it's going to be better than ever and more in-depth than ever as well. And I'm going to be streaming live today with the creators of that mod, Farming Agency, to talk about the new and returning features, as well as what you can expect to see from it and what platforms it will be for. I can already tell you, this is going to be a PC-only mod as they are not able to change the game code directly which needs to happen therefore its ability to be on consoles is literally impossible the stream is going to start today at 2 p.m eastern time 11 a.m pacific over on alien paul's youtube channel and we'll leave that link below and share it on my community tab once that stream is up see you guys there after the successful and extremely surprising release of the case h axle flow series yesterday on the mod hub from serious modding they have already addressed an issue that has been occurring with the rear axle of the combine harvester and say the problem will be fixed soon unfortunately they didn't say what the issue is or what is being fixed and i have no idea because it worked fine for me at least i felt like it did so for the meantime you can use it normally and still a mod hub and game breaking issues don't stay up long on the mod hub so i think you guys are going to be just fine heck I'm even considering using this for my next series. Seems like the perfect starting harvester on any red farm. FS Modding looked to have fixed the modeling issues that they were working on with JA Modding for the John Deere 5080E and already have it back in the game doing some tests. I was a little bit interested in the size of this tractor because it seemed like it was going to be pretty small, but judging by this screenshot, we can see that it's actually a pretty large tractor, smaller to medium size for sure at least. I also love that it has an open cab. Would be cool to see like just the headache rack on the top or something like that uh no top whatsoever as it always makes working in first person fun plus who doesn't like putting the top down and going for a cruise yesterday solutions modding released their first dirt bike and the first dirt bike ever on mod hub for all platforms of farming simulator history and they're already working hard on their next mod that's going to be the john deere 71 flex planter I'm not familiar with this one, and I've looked through their back catalog, and it looks like it's something brand new from Solutions. As the only thing similar to this that they made in the past was the John Deere 7000 planter that was back at Farm Sim 19. Either way, great to see more green mods being worked on, and great to see Solutions Modding working on some new stuff. Ada Modding has reached out to ask, what else would you guys like to see from his Lizard 4000H transport? Features, additions, changes, etc. It's all on the table right now. If you're unfamiliar with this one, it's an IT runner platform where you can transport small to medium sized equipment and tools and bells and things like that as well. Some sidewalls would be cool, I think, maybe an option for logging size as that would make transporting logs definitely easier for sure. Being able to put it on the ground and then load it up, seems pretty easy to me. Either way, let him know what you think would be super cool link below and lastly today we got some new screenshots from fsg modding saying that their next map green mountain is about 60 percent completed as it sits right now they also teased the release of the map pda as well so hopefully we see that soon just a heads up this is a 4x map so the likelihood that it's going to release on consoles is very slim not none but very slim Probably not what you want to hear, I'm sure, but I would at least like you guys to have the right information. That way, you know what to expect. Just like these outros, you expect them to be self-aware segues to the outro that know about themselves, being transitional statements that lead to the ending of the non-face cam portion of the news videos. It's an important step because just like every episode of Farms and News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. So no release dates for mods to myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, well, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic, at least at the time of recording this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, if I release a video, you never miss it. With that, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. You know what? I like releasing these news videos earlier in the day now. I get to sleep in too. It's cool.